So you put in all the hard work this year and create a lawn that your neighbors absolutely envy. Good work. But now with the cool weather being here and your lawn starting to look a little bit like this, you might be thinking you're done for the season. Not true. In this video, I'm gonna share three tips that are gonna help you get ahead of the competition once the warm weather arrives. Let's get started. So the nice thing about these three tips is that they apply to all grass types. So if you have warm season grass like Bermuda, Zoysia, or yes, even St. Augustine, you can do this in this video. If you have cool season grass like rye, fescue, Kentucky bluegrass, pretty much if you have any grass and it grows in a lawn and soil, you can do what's in this video. Now the tips are gonna range from kind of boring to fun and then even more fun, if you're a lawn nerd anyway. All right, so the first tip I have for you is on the topic of soil testing. Now, I did say the first tip wasn't gonna be much fun, but stick with me here. I highly recommend that you get a soil test this time of year because this is something I can guarantee your competition isn't doing. A soil test is gonna tell you what nutrient deficiencies you have in your lawn, is gonna allow you to get ahead of the competition once the warmer weather arrives. Now, as far as using these, they're really simple. All you need is a test kit, and I like to get a probe tool, a sample tool to collect your samples. And then as far as the process goes, you simply collect them from various parts all around your lawn, mail them out, and about a week from now, you're gonna get a results that look kinda like this. And those results are gonna tell you exactly what you need to apply to your lawn to get the best possible result. Remember, great grass means great soil, and a soil test kit is the best way to get the answer to the test of how do I get amazing soil. So I know it's not super sexy, it's not as fun as like throwing down fertilizer and other things, but it's really important. So go get one of these and get it done. All right, so we're moving on to the second tip now. Not as fun as the third tip, but it's definitely more exciting than soil testing. And it's around preventing problems in your lawn. Now, diseases like large patch and particularly spring dead spot, which is common in warm season grasses like Bermuda, those kind of problems start now. So a great idea for this time of year to, again, help you get out of the competition is to apply preventative fungicide. Now, the one that I use is a product called Headway. This is from Syngenta. And this is a really good option because it contains two fungicides in one bag. By applying this this time of year, you're gonna help prevent issues with spring dead spot, which is, it's, trust me, something you really don't wanna have in your lawn. You know, lawn disease in many ways are kinda like a bad relationship. If you can just avoid them in the first place, it's better to do that than try and fix any kind of issues that you get yourself into by not heading off something that could have been prevented in the first place, right? So. It's kind of an analogy that I, I hope works, but by all means, definitely get one of these, get a bag of headway, apply it to your lawn. It's gonna do a lot for keeping disease and those kind of problems out of your lawn. Because really, frankly, if a lawn that's full of spring dead spot is the opposite of a lawn that's dominating the neighborhood. So get your preventative fungicide down. On to the third tip. Now, the third tip is one that is among my favorite. It's something that I do every single month on my lawn, and it's something that you can do every month on your lawn, regardless of whether the lawn is in dormancy or whether it's actively growing. The only limitation is that you can't do this if you live in a part of the country where the ground freezes. So if you're way up north, Buffalo, Chicago, those parts of the country where it gets really, really cold and the ground freezes for several months out of the year, then this tip is something you're gonna have to wait until the weather gets a little bit warmer. And what I'm talking about is the granular biostimulant of choice, my fave, called Essential G. Now, why do you wanna apply this to your lawn? Well, a granular biostimulant, kind of like a soil test, is going to allow you to get the most out of the fertilizer applications you put in your lawn. It has compost, biochar, some humate, some silica. You can think of it almost like a vitamin pack that's gonna allow you to get the most out of anything that you put into your soil. Uh, it's really easy to apply. All you need is a broadcast spreader. For both these guys, all you need is a broadcast spreader. And the nice thing about Essential G is you really can't damage the lawn with it. The amount of it that you apply is really limited only by your budget. I apply this monthly, and again, if you can do it every month, that's great. If you can do it every other month, that's fine too. But this is one of the best investments you can make into having great soil and getting the most out of any fertilizer or any other nutrient packs that you're putting into your lawn. Now I'm gonna have links in the description to the MySoil test kit, Headway G and Essential G. What's cool about those links is that in addition to having the products where you can pick them up, there's gonna be a more detailed video on each one of these that's gonna give you all the tips you need to be able to apply them and use them and get the best possible result. Now, if you found this video useful, I really hope you'll consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. That way, you'll be the first to know whenever I publish new content. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.